Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In the last two videos, I talked about how we can add or remove devices in bulk from Entra or Intune group using PowerShell script. In today's video, I will share my new script and show you how we can add users in bulk in Entra or Intune group using PowerShell script. So let's get started. Before we dive in, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. According to the YouTube analytics, a large number of viewers watch my videos without subscribing. So if you find this helpful, show your support by subscribing it really encourage me to keep creating more time saving automation content like this for you right now i am on my client machine and to add bulk users in entra or intune group we have to first download the script and i have already downloaded the script and that is in my download folder and i will provide the link in the description so that you can download and test it let me open the PowerShell ISC as an administrator and let me load the script which is already there in my download folder. And within the script, we have to add just two user input section. The very first one is the target group name in which you want to add the user. And second is the user list path in which we have to provide the user email ID. So let's update this and see how we can add the users in bulk using powershell so let's first update the target group name so let me go to the intune portal and within intune portal go to the groups and let's just create a new group called demo bulk add users let me copy this and click on create now we have to add this group name here in this variable target group name and then we have to update the user list path. So we have to create the dot text file in any location. I am going to use temp folder. So let me go to the temp folder. And within temp folder, we already have a text file called demo bulk add user. Let me open this file and let me remove the device name and then let me add the user which we want to add in this group. So I already have a exported username in the CSV form. So let me copy this and let's quickly copy the top 10 users and copy this and then just update this in the text file and click on save. And now what we have to do, we have to go to the temp folder and copy the file path copy as path and then update this user list path that's all we have to do and click on save now select entire script and click on run and now here i am using intune admin account to run this script so I don't have a rights to read and write the group membership and read all user full path. So I need to take the permission from Entra admin. So let me give the justification called demo and click on request approval. If you already have a permission, then you will not get this screen. So let me log in with Entra admin. So let me go and log in with Entra admin. And within Entra portal, we have to go to the enterprise application. And here in the enterprise application, if you go to the admin consent request under the activity, we will able to see the pending request for access on Microsoft Graph command line tool. And now using the Entra admin or global admin account, we can review and consent the permission. And I am approving this request as an global administrator. 
and then read the permission and click on accept. And now if we run this script again, you will not get this screen for approval. Let's run this one more time. And let's use the Intune admin rights to execute this script. And now we can see that it started processing the user one by one. And we can see that it started adding the user in the respective group. And now in last, we can see that total user process nine out of which user added nine. There is no user which is already present in this group. That is why we have zero and fail to add user is also zero. And we can also see the report in this text file. If we go to the temp folder, we can see that add user added user and we can see that all users are now added let's assume a scenario you have a user called fake user and i am going to add in this group now in this file we have 10 user name out of which nine is already added in a group and one dish is a fake user so let's see what is the behavior when we are running this script again and before that, let me go to the Intune portal, go to the user, bulk, bulk add user and go to the members. Now we can see that all users are now added in this group. Okay. So let's run this script one more time and click on run. And again, authenticate with into admin rights. And now we can see that it started again checking and we can see that these users are already in the group and we can see that it is now processing 10 requests and out of which nine is already part of the group and one is failed to add because that was a fake user. And we can also see the same in this report also. And we can see the device name so that we can also report it how many users we are able to add or we are able to remove it now let's do a last thing and let's select all these and click on copy and update the text file and click on save and now let's execute this entire script one more time Authenticate with Intune admin rights. And now we can see that it again started processing. We can see that these users are already in group. That is why not adding again. And now from here it is started adding the users in the group. And in last, we can see the summary. Total user processed 31, user added 22, already in group 9, and fail to add is 0. Same thing we can see in this report also. If we go to the temp folder, we can see that already present user. These are the user which is already part of the group. And added users, these are the user which is script added recently. And if we go to the Intune portal, refresh this and we can see that nine group member. And now we can see that 31 group member found. So that's how you can add users in bulk using PowerShell script. And in the next video, I will show you how to remove the user in bulk using PowerShell script. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.